Welcome back to my faction guide series of Legends of Runeterra and in this video we're going to take a deep look at Noxus. In this video we we'll look at the faction identity of Noxus, their champions, then we take a deep dive into the mechanics present in the faction, we'll discuss the cards and combos you should look out for, see which faction synergizes well with Noxus and last but not least we'll look at the quick summary of this video. Subscribe if you like what I'm doing and to receive more Legends of Runeterra guides. And now, let's go! Noxus has three major gameplay mechanics. Rush, to kill the opponent quickly and before they have a chance to execute the deck strategy. Swarm, enabling you to get huge bonuses for having a full board. And Surviving, meaning your units trigger buffs or additional effects when they take damage but survive. The champions of Noxus are quite diverse except for Vladimir which is not directly tied to a Noxus archetype. However, each of them can fit into them depending on the played deck. Let's start with Draven, who I would put into Rush decks since he has quite good value for a 3 cost champion, especially with quick attack and the ability to buff units with his spinning axes. After striking twice with his spinning axes, he'll level up to create two spinning axes instead of one from then on. And his spinning axes are a helpful tool to trick your enemy into thinking they succeed in a block only to then buff the unit with the spinning axe to turn the tables, but I mostly like him because of his amazing stats. Katarina is a very special champion and a trickster per excellence. As soon as she's struck, she levels up and recalls back to your hand. From now on, she will recall on the keyword strike, not attack, which means that she won't die anymore from any damage she takes because she recalls before the damage is applied to her. In addition, she can ready your attack now, meaning you can attack twice or even three times in a round or attack when you are on the defending side, which can be a huge thing for rush decks especially and this is why she can be a huge asset. The only downside to her is that you need to pay 4 mana every time you want to drop her, but depending on your board state this is a good price to pay for multiple attack opportunities. Vladimir is the champion of the surviving archetype, dealing 1 damage to all your friendly units when he attacks and 1 damage to Nexus for every damage dealt through his ability. This makes Vladimir a fantastic tool to trigger those surviving effects, while you also get the additional Nexus damage. After having 6 allies survive damage, he'll level up to get the regeneration keyword, making him even harder to take out as well as making him a good target for spells like Transfusion, which we get into later. Darius is a typical finisher champion. When playing a Rush or Swarm deck, you often get the Nexus down to single digits quite fast, but then the enemy gets stronger and you lack the tools to finish them off. And this is where Darius comes into play, using his good stats together with Overwhelm to go straight for the Nexus even if he's blocked. He levels up as soon as the enemy Nexus has 10 or less health, making him an attacking machine with 10 attack, which means the enemy needs to take care of him or it is over. So let's take a look in detail on the Rush archetype. Legion Rearguard is one of the most basic rush cards. A one cost card with amazing stats but unable to block, lets you tuck hard early on before the enemy can build up a defense. Draven's biggest fan lets you pull out Draven early so he can support your rush and with Elixir of Wrath, Draven can, still, uh, can stay alive because thanks to quick attack, Draven won't take damage if he kills a blocking enemy. Legion Saboteur gives you a bit of direct nexus damage and Trifarian hopefully or typically plays as a 5-2 for 2 costs, which allows you to hit hard in round 2 already. Legion Grenadier is another good attack card with free attack and on death it will deal 2 damage to the enemy Nexus as a bonus. Brothers Bond grants 2 allies plus 2 and typically is played in round 3 when you have 2 hard hitters on the board already and it's your turn to attack. Reckless Trifarian is another card can block with amazing stats and if uh, Shiraza the blade hits the Nexus she will do double damage. All those cards enable you to rush down the enemy nexus within the first rounds, but if the enemy pulls up a good defense you need something more. You need Intimidating Roar. Roar stuns all enemies with 4 or less power, opening up the enemy defense for you to deal the lethal blow. Swarm is all about putting a lot of units on the board and then benefiting from it. Except for House Spider, which gives you 2 units within 1 card, Noxus doesn't have too many cards that can put up multiple bodies in a turn but therefore you can utilize a lot of your cheap rush cards to get those bodies on the board. 
after your board is filled, you'd play cards like Arena Battlecast and Crowd Favorite to get the payoff from swarming. At first glance, Trifaria and Assessor looks like a poor late game card, but by buffing up your units with cards like Battlecaster, you can create 5 power allies to then make even more use of her ability. Decisive Maneuver helps you to trigger Assessor as well by giving your board a good attack boost and taking out the biggest defender of the enemy. Playing Maneuver is often the finisher you need to win a swarm strategy. Surviving has a ton of support in Noxus for cards like Plate's Edge and Death Lotus, triggering all your surviving abilities, or Transfusion, which triggers survive on one alley while buffing up another alley for this round. Blood for Blood is another trigger, while enabling you to copy an ally which is especially useful in cards like Crimson, Discipl Dis Dis Crimson Disciple, there we go, which deals 2 damage to the enemy nexus when it receives damage. Crimson Aristocrat triggers Survive, while buffing the ally, and Crimson Curator creates more Crimson cards, which typically have a Survive synergy when he survives damage. Crimson Awakener deals 1 damage to all allies, therefore triggering all survive abilities, and Legion Veteran gets an attack buff every time your allies get damaged. So, as you can see, those two cards work very well together. Now let's look at some cards and combos to look out for. Intimidating Roar, Intimidating Roar is a fantastic finisher card for Noxus, often knocking out the entire, the entire enemy's defense while being only a 5 cost card. Decimate is a simply deal 4 damage card to Nexus, but often enemies block in a way so that they will end up with a slight positive Nexus life. Playing a Decimate then will just win you the game, even though the enemy thought they won already or you can use it as another finishing tool for rush decks, who often struggle to finish as well. Veteran Ram can get out of hand quickly, especially if you keep buffing it so it stays alive. The most dangerous part of it is that it also has the Overwhelm keyword, so you can only ignore it once or maybe twice, but then you need to deal with it or you lose the game. Arena Bookie is not the most powerful card you've seen, but I want to mention it anyway, because this card does not so much in term because this card does so much in terms of consistency. Especially in decks where a wrong card draw could mean you need to wait one or two more turns to finish, having the ability to discard a card and then draw a new one is amazing. The best factions you can pair Noxus with are Felyord, adding a lot of units with surviving synergy to the deck, Ionia to support the swarm archetype, and Demacia because adding challenger units to a swarm archetype lets you pick the fights you need to succeed. So let's summarize. Noxus has three major archetypes. Rush, Swarm and Surviving Damage. Its main faction synergizes are Freljord, Ionia and Demacia. Keywords that come in mind when I'm thinking of this faction are Rush, Self Damage, Can Block, Overwhelm and Swarm. So subscribe if you like this faction enough guide and tell me what you think about it in the comments. I hope to See you in my other videos because I made like a faction guide for each one of them. And well, yeah, I hope to see you there soon. So, goodbye.